This Colorado man has never had sex, so he wants to kill all women. What I had meant to say was allegedly. A Wisconsin man went berserk with an ax after fearing his wife damaged his action figures. Allegedly. High school students saved a Muslim community in upstate New York from a terrorist attack. And an Australian woman is taking heat for breastfeeding her child. You're watching Daily News Weekly. Hey, you're not recording me, are you? Yep. Oh, you son of a- Welcome to Daily News Weekly, where we highlight the stories from the past week that you may have missed. I'm your host, Michael Sheridan. A Colorado man was so frustrated he couldn't get a girl, he allegedly wanted to kill them all. Christopher Cleary posted to Facebook that he was a 27-year-old virgin and couldn't get a girlfriend, according to police. Authorities say he wrote online, All I wanted was to be loved, yet no one cares about me. He then threatened that he would become the, quote, next mass shooter and kill, quote, as many girls as I see. Cleary later told police he wasn't thinking clearly, had suicidal thoughts, and suffered an impulse disorder, according to ABC News. Police were concerned because his threats came as several women's marches were planned around the country. Cleary, who, according to the Denver Post, was convicted of stalking two 18-year-old women in 2015, was already on probation for stalking and threatening another woman. He now faces charges for violating probation, as well as making threats of terrorism, according to police. This next story, I totally understand. A Wisconsin man went crazy after he feared his wife damaged his, quote, prize property. More specifically, his action figures. Madison Police Chief Mike Koval wrote in his blog about the incident. According to the chief, the 34-year-old husband grabbed a log-splitting axe and used it to destroy the TV, the TV stand, a laptop computer, as well as several other items in the house. The chief also said the dude turned his attention to the family car chopped off the side mirrors, then hit the windshield with such force that the axe became stuck. Damages were estimated to be at around $5,000. Now, the police chief indicated in the blog post that the wife had left the house before the man went on his rampage. And the man later admitted that maybe he was drinking too much and then overreacting. You think? Okay. He was busted for disorderly conduct and felony damage to property. The chief's blog never identifies the man or the woman, but I don't care. All I really want to know is what action figures were they? Please. Were they Star Wars? Were they G.I. Joe? Were they He-Man? What do you think? An upstate Muslim community was allegedly targeted by a group of men who planned to attack the town with homemade explosives. But the terror plot was thwarted thanks to local students, police say. Authorities arrested four people who they say were going to attack a neighborhood called Islamburg, a Muslim enclave just west of the Catskills. Police say they learned of the plot after students at Odyssey Academy approached them about a 16-year-old who had come to them with a photo of a person and suggested that person, quote, looked like the next school shooter. Police later interviewed that unidentified 16-year-old, who was then arrested along with the three others. Police say they also found three improvised explosive devices at the teen's home. The bombs were packed with nails, black powder, and BBs. In addition to the bombs, police say they found a total of 23 shotguns and rifles at the different homes of each suspect. According to police, the group met while in the Boy Scouts of America. Two of them were Eagle Scouts. The three adults face three counts of first-degree criminal possession of a weapon or explosive and one conspiracy charge. The charges for the 16-year-old were not released. Breastfeeding. Women should be allowed to do it whenever and however or wherever they want to do it. However, some are taking issue with an Australian woman who breastfeeds her son. Why? Because he's seven years old. Lisa Bridger has faced backlash since last summer after sharing her story about breastfeeding her child on a website called Kidspot. To the adults who have commented that I am sick and need to get help, there is nothing mentally wrong with me. I am only doing what is natural. She says some people have accused her of being a pedophile, and others have suggested her breastfeeding is a sex act. Which, of course, is ridiculous, because it's not. Now, it's important to note that Bridger says her son is autistic, and breastfeeding helps calm him and allows her to keep him off medication. However, she does say that even if he wasn't autistic, she would still be breastfeeding him anyway if that's what he'd wanted. Bridger does have another son who's four, and she does breastfeed him too. She also has three other children who are now adults, and she says that she had breastfed them well after they were four years old. The World Health Organization does recommend that mothers breastfeed their children until they're at least six months old, and could continue to breastfeed that child until they're at least two or even three years old. What do you think? Is this woman wrong to still be breastfeeding her child at seven years old? Or maybe we shouldn't care and it's none of our business, and what difference does it make? Let us know in the comments below. 
That's all I've got for you this week. If you like this episode, smash that like button. And if you subscribe to this channel because of this show, thank you very much. But please remember to ring that bell, so that way you get notifications every time a new video is posted. I'm Michael Sheridan, social links are down below. Let me know what you think about the show. I'd love to hear from you if you have any questions or comments. And now there's gonna be some other videos floating up here, so maybe click on those and, and watch something else that we produced. Thanks.